Hello and welcome to our channel. Uh, on this channel, we will aim to talk about replacement headlights, rear lights or tail lights as they are called in America, uh, indicators or turn signals, as well as side repeaters or what is also referred to as side indicators um, or side turn signals and so on. Now, um, we will aim to try and identify the products that will fit certain cars or different cars and today's car is actually the BMW E36 Coupe and E36 Convertible. Now to start off uh, I think it's important to mention that the parts for um, the lights for the BMW E36 Coupe and Convertible do not fit the BMW E36 saloon or sedan and they also don't fit the compact e36 compact neither do they fit the e36 wagon or station wagon or estate for that matter so the lights that we are going to be talking about today only fit the bmw e36 coupe and convertible that was manufactured between 1990 and the year 2000 now here um, are some of the pictures uh, for the products that are available either as a replacement for your car or as an upgrade. Uh, obviously the car, um, the E36 at the moment is a car that uh, has been around for a while and sometimes you get um, uh, the headlights yellowing due to the sunshine and as a result you want either to upgrade them or basically, uh, basically to change them just to upgrade them and uh, have a new look on your car. So the first thing we'll, we'll start with um, is the headlights. Now, there are all sorts of headlights available, but the ones that we'll be talking to, uh, about today are the halogen headlights. Now, obviously, there's a difference between halogen headlights and xenon headlights. Now, if your car came with uh, xenon headlights, uh, then um, the lights that we are showing you here are unlikely to fit your model because uh, the ones that we are showing you today are for the halogen um, uh, halogen headlights which are meant for cars that came with he halogen headlamps from the factory. Uh, the first one as you can see from the picture uh, is um, uh, uh, headlights, uh, black headlights that have daytime running lights. So BMW E36 Coupe and Convertible black DRL headlights. Now these are really nice headlights and as you can see uh, the indicator is not separate from the headlight. They are actually integrated so it's one unit. It's a monoblock which actually uh, gives a really nice effect on, um, on the car and looks quite modern. So uh, these are the black ones as you can see from the picture. Uh, and obviously the daytime running lights stay on even during the day. As soon as the car is turned on, then the DRL uh, function comes on and then the other functions uh, on the headlight can be turned on manually. The second one is a similar um, headlight or set of headlights, which is the clear version. So they are pretty much the same headlights, only that one has a black background and the other one has a clear background. Uh, so these are the first two sets of headlights that we are going to be talking about or that we are yes we are going to be talking about for the E36 coupe and E36 convertible. The second type of headlights that I'd like us to talk about are the angel eye headlights. Now these ones are basically the ones that have rings around them uh, obviously referred to as angel eye headlights um, and there are two variants here or two types. Uh, the first one is the black version and again uh, these ones have a black background and an outer clear casing uh, as you can see in the picture here these are referred to as black headlights uh, then the second version uh, of the angel eye headlights that are available are the clear ones and as you can see from the picture these ones are just basically clear or if you like and if you want to be a lot more specific have a chrome look background with a clear outer casing. 
Uh, so these are the headlights that are available. Now, obviously, there are other headlights available out there. Uh, there are different versions of um, angel eye headlights. There's also what is referred to as a CCFL headlights, angel eye headlights. And those obviously are available on the market. And I'm sure you'll come across them uh, if you are looking for that particular type. So that is it for the headlights. Uh, now we'll be discussing um, the parts that are available for, um, well, the rear lights or tail lights that are available for the BMW E36 Coupe and Convertible. Now, again, I must emphasize that these will not fit the BMW E36 Compact. They will also not fit the BMW E36 Estate or Touring or Wagon, Station Wagon. And they will also not fit the BMW E36 Saloon or Sedan. Now, the first ones that are available are the ones that are referred to as clear. Obviously, the top part of the light is clear, but the bottom part is um, red. So these are referred to generally as clear rear lights for the BMW E36 Coupe and Convertible. Uh, there's another one here. There's another variant here that uh, I've not included in the pictures. Um, and that is um, a crystal look light. These ones here in the picture are frosted. But there's also a crystal clear kind of look light that is also available for the E36 Coupe and Convertible. Uh, if you'd like a picture of this one, uh, you can um, uh, leave a comment uh, in the um, comment section below uh, or directly message me and uh, I will send you a picture of the said uh, crystal lights uh, for the E36 uh, Coupe. Uh, then the next one uh, is the smoked rear lights. And that here, obviously, you can, as you can see in the picture, is also frosted and it has a smoked top and a red bottom. Uh, that is generally referred to as smoked, uh, the smoked version um, for the E36 lights. Then the third one and the last one or the fourth one, the last one uh, is the all smoked rear lights. Now, as you can see, it's all frosted and has a smoked look to it. Uh, a lot of people actually really like this light, especially people that have a black car or a silver car. Uh, they generally like to um, upgrade their lights uh, to this particular smoked version. Okay, so the next one now, uh, the next set that we'll do are the indicators or the turn signals. So... The indicators or turn signals, are obviously the first one is the clear uh, frosted one, as you can see in the picture. Now again, it's important to emphasize uh, that these clear indicators only fit the E36 Coupe and convertible. Uh, just those two, they don't fit the compact, they don't fit the um, estate or touring, and they also don't fit the sedan or saloon. Uh, so the clear frosted one, then the next one, as you can see from the picture, is a smoked frosted version, um, which obviously, you know, um, is just a darker shade or a dark shade of the clear ones. Uh, and then the last one that we are going to look at here is the black version or the black indicators. Now, these ones have a black background, but have a clear outer gloss. So... Uh, they may be referred to as black, but um, it's the background of the indicator itself that is black. Uh, the top, the the top part of the indicator, um, or the casing of the indicator, for that matter, is actually clear. So these are the so-called or so referred to as um, black indicators. There is also a crystal clear version that is similar to this one. This one that uh, I have seen also being sold. But at the moment, they seem to be very rare to come across. So uh, I'm not sure whether they are still in production or not. Uh, but there's, you know, it's good to mention that um, there's also a clear one that is available, a crystal clear one that is available. Okay, so uh, the next, um, the next ones that we are going to look at are the side repeaters or side turn signals. For the side repeaters, it's important. Uh, from the onset to mention 
that there are two different types depending on the year of manufacture of the car. So the first ones that we'll be looking at are for the pre-facelift model. Now these were, these were the earliest models that were manufactured between 1990 and 1995. And the side repeaters, these particular side repeaters will not fit the model that was manufactured after 1995. So the 1996 to 2000 model are a different type of side repeater. They are a little more rounded as you will see in the pictures. So we'll start with the ones for the pre-facelift model which is the 1990 to 1995. The first ones are available are obviously the crystal clear ones as you can see in the picture above. Um, there is also a frosted type, a frosted clear type as well that is available on the market. I'm sure if you looked for that, you'd be able to find that quite easily. But the most common ones actually seem to be these crystal clear uh, side repeaters. Then there is a crystal smoked side repeater. And again, this is available on the market as well as a frosted version. And if that is the one that you'd prefer to put on your car, then uh, that is also available. So that's it for um, the pre-facelift side repeaters. Now the ones for the facelift, for the model that is manufactured after 1996, so 1996 to, 19, uh, to 2000, uh, are, a, are a little more rounded um, than the ones for the pre-facelift model. And as you will have noticed from the pictures, um, the ones for the pre-facelift model have a plastic black casing, um, but that is no longer there uh, on the repeaters that um, are for the facelift model. So as you can see in the picture, these ones are the ones for the facelift model and they are available in both a clear version as well as a smoked version. So you can see the smoked version in the next picture here. Um, and you can also actually get these in an LED version. Um, there are different types of LED versions obviously out there in the market, but you want to be looking, if you've got a facelift model, you want to be looking for this particular shape of uh, side repeater. Um, because if you buy the one for the pre-facelift, it will not fit your car. So uh, there are LED ones available. We've given two ex an example here uh, of the smoked LED type. Now, it's also important to mention here that this particular side repeater for the facelift model will also fit the BMW X5, the E53 model um, as well. So if you see in an advert that uh, the E36 side repeater has been you know, put side by side or is being sold as a similar one to the BMW X5 E53 model, then don't panic. It's They, they actually are... Um, they fit both models, so uh, it will be this, the correct repeater for your E36 as well. Okay, so um, I think that about covers it. Um, obviously, there are a lot of other parts that are out there on the market that are available for the BMW E36 Coupe and Convertible. Uh, and if you'd like us to cover um, you know, these other parts, or if you'd like to inquire about any other parts that are available or that you're interested in purchasing for your car, please um, contact us uh, via the you know, uh, comments uh, link below or you can actually directly message us and uh, we will be happy to respond to any query that you may have. Thanks once again. Um, please uh, also let us know if you'd like us to cover any other models of cars or other parts of cars that you, know, you may be interested, interested in purchasing either now in, or in the future and we will consider uh, producing a video for that as well. Please also remember to like uh, our video and uh, if you've enjoyed it and uh, also to subscribe to the channel so that you, are, um, you can you know, know when we post new videos uh, for other models of cars um, that you might be interested, be interested in in the future. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.